But I never will forget one night very late. It was around midnight. And you can have some strange experiences at midnight. The telephone started ringing and I picked it up. On the other end was an ugly voice. That voice said to me in substance, Nigger, we are tired of you and your mess now. And if you aren't out of this town in three days, you're going to blow your brains out and blow up your house. I had heard these things before, but for some reason that night it got to me. I turned over and I tried to go to sleep, but I couldn't sleep. It was frustrated, bewildered. And then I got up and went back to the kitchen and I started warming some coffee, thinking that coffee would give me a little relief. Then I started thinking about many things. I pulled back on the theology and philosophy that I had just studied in the universities, trying to give philosophical and theological reasons for the existence and the reality of sin and evil. But the answer didn't quite come there. I sat there and thought about a beautiful little daughter who had just been born about a month earlier. We have four children now, but we only had one then. She was the darling of my life. I'd come in night after night and see that little gentle smile. I sat at that table thinking about that little girl and thinking about the fact that she could be taken away from any minute. And I started thinking about a dedicated, devoted, and loyal wife who was over there asleep. She could be taken from me. I could be taken from her. And I got to the point that I couldn't take it any longer. I was weak. Yeah. And something said to me, you can't call on Daddy now. He's up in Atlanta, 175 miles away. Yeah. You can't even call on Mama now. You've got to call on that something and that person that your daddy used to tell you about. That power that can make a way out of no way. I discovered then that religion had to become real to me and I had to know God for myself. And I bowed down over that cup of coffee. I never will forget it. Oh, yes, I prayed a prayer, and I prayed out loud that night. I said, Lord, I'm down here trying to do what's right. I think I'm right. I think the cause that we represent is right. But, Lord, I must confess that I'm weak now, I'm faltering, I'm losing my courage. I can't let the people see me like this because if they see me weak and losing my courage, they will begin to get weak. It seemed at that moment that I could hear an inner voice saying to me, Martin Luther, stand up for righteousness. Stand up for justice. Stand up for truth, and lo, I will be with you, even until the end of the world. I tell you, I've seen the lightning flash. I've heard the thunder roll. I've felt sin breakers passing, trying to conquer my soul. But I heard the voice of Jesus saying, still to fight on. He promised never to leave me, never to leave me alone. No, never alone. No, never alone. Promise never to leave me. 
never to leave me alone. I'm going on in believing in him. You better know him and know his name. Know how to call his name. Don't be a fool. Recognize your dependence on God. Yes. 